Dark Web, the darkest corner of the internet. It is real, and it is built on a stupendous technology. Unraveling how it works. In today's world, Dark Web is the epicenter of online illegal activities. It is a dark, sinister place, where a lot of anonymous trading happens, mostly of goods which are illegal. There is a saying that you can procure anything if you care to look hard enough. Although the perception about the dark web is fairly negative, and rightly so, we must nonetheless appreciate the strong foundation technology that enables it, and the kind of innovations it brought to the market. To run an anonymous marketplace, where you are constantly evading the authorities, and providing qualitative products at competitive price and good customer services, is a staggering achievement. It is a phenomenal achievement. Under the hood, the dark web is thriving, and many predict it could change the internet again. So let's take a journey to understand how it began, the technology behind it, the innovations it brought, the bright side of it, and where it would take us in the future. The Web The World Wide Web is a global software system which enables us to access any resource located in any corner of the globe from our home computer. The World Wide Web is divided into few categories. The ocean iceberg picture is a symbolism. The surface is easier to access as it is outside of the ocean. As we go deeper into the deeper, the tougher it is to reach there because of the water pressure. Surface Web It is the part of the web which is accessible publicly. It is indexable by the search engines and accessible through traditional web browsers, Chrome, Firefox, etc. It consists of 5% of the total content on the Internet. Deep Web It consists of the private data like email accounts, cloud storage, employee records, subscription contents, etc. These part of the web requires authentic and permissions to access the data. It consists of 90% of the Internet. Accessible through traditional web browsers, Chrome, Firefox, etc. Cannot be indexed by the search engines. Dark Web. It is mainly used for anonymous browsing. It hosts many hidden services. To access Dark Web, we need a separate browser, e.g. Tor Browser. It cannot be indexed by search engines. It consists of 5% of the total content of the Internet. Mariana Web, a myth. It is named after the Great Mariana Trench, the deepest point of the ocean. It is considered the darkest corner of the Internet, and Internet's best kept secret. It is rumored to be guarded by a very powerful algorithm that can only be solved by a quantum computer. It has the map to the lost city of Atlantis and many government and Vatican secrets. Secure Communications There are few secure communication options that we must have used at some point, but none of them are truly anonymous. SSL Tunnel can encrypt the message that you want to transfer, but the source and destination are public. Incognito Mode Browsing can hide your browsing history locally, but the ISP and the websites you visit knows you are visiting them. VPN or proxy servers can be used to mask your identities and location, but they themselves know who you are. None of these techniques are truly anonymous. Anonymous Communications to securely send a message across two parties without revealing their identities to each other and anyone in the network. Source, destination, and message content all are secure. Nobody can get hold of everything. They only get the little pieces of the puzzle, which reveals very little. 
nobody in the network knows about the full connection chain. Examples of such techniques are onion routing, garlic routing, etc. The Rise of the Dark Web Ever since there has been the internet or any form of online connectivity, people have used it for illegal activities. People attempted to create data heavens in small countries with relaxed laws to hide their illegal data. In the 1990s, a technology called Tor, the onion router, was developed for anonymous communications. With the rise of anonymous communication techniques and reasonable demand for illegal stuff, the dark web arose and flourished. Tor it is an implementation of onion routing. Developed by the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory to enable anonymous communication for military purposes. Now made open source for the general public to use, it is perfectly legal to use Tor. Till this day, it is funded by the U.S. government. But why would the U.S. government fund a platform that hosts the dark web? Well, First, the government itself is using it for military purposes, and even if it shuts down Tor, the dark web would still exist because there are many such anonymous techniques that are available in the market. People would switch over to that or build their own. Onion Routing It is an anonymous communication technique. A Tor client, Tor browser, needs to be installed on the agent side. Tor Client will always connect to the Tor Network. Tor Network will relay the message to the destination, web server, another peer, etc. This relay will happen using Tor Routers, also called Onion Routers. Tor Client chooses three random relay nodes before it hits the requested web server. The first node is called the entry or guard node. The second is called the middle node, and the last one the exit node. All three nodes will form a circuit. But how would the Tor client spot which are the Tor nodes? They do this using directory authorities. Formation of a message. Once the circuit is established, Tor client procures each router's public key from the directory server. Message is encrypted multiple times with each key, thus forming multiple layers like an onion. In this example, there are three relay nodes in the circuit. The client fetches the public key of all three nodes from the DAs. Then, the message is encrypted in multiple layers like an onion, like shown below. Dark Web Innovations because of the inhospitable conditions in which these anonymous marketplaces do their trade, they are constantly innovating in order to survive. Innovations, of course, happens in big corporations or prestigious universities, but it also happens on the fringes. Those on the fringes, the outcasts, the pariah, you name it, they have to be innovative in order to survive, otherwise they will perish. To do business anonymously, they will have to offer services like mock accounts. User would not log in using their actual names, email, or contact. So they came up with the mock account feature, where the user can put any random name and address, preferably not their home address, to purchase something. Payments. The users will not pay using their credit card, of course, that would lead it right back to you. So they give options to pay using bitcoins, which can be easily converted into real world currency. Tumbling services. Every bitcoin transaction is recorded publicly. If you are smart enough, you can figure out who is behind them. So they give option of a tumbling service, which tumbles and jumbles the bitcoin and the right amount is sent back to the person. The popular such service is called Bitcoin Fog. Multi-signature escrow payments. There are cases where the payment has been made, but the shipment never arrives. 
To avoid this, the community came up with this. The buyer will pay to a third party monitor digital wallet. Then the seller, after seeing that the buyer has made the payment, release the shipment. Once the shipment arrives, two out of the three parties involving in the transaction, the buyer, the seller, and the third party wallet monitor, signs off on the deal and the money is transferred. Anonymous shipping. They can't use standard shipping like FedEx, Blue Dark. That will again break the anonymity. So the community has come up with the anonymous shipping service. You use this service, drop the package somewhere. A random person will come and pick it up and deliver it to the destination. Bright side of the dark web. It is giving a platform to the political activists, journalists, and bloggers to put forward their voices against an oppressive regime, e.g. used heavily in the Arab Spring. It is also providing space for whistleblowers to showcase the truth without worrying about death threats. It provides privacy, so more and more people who are worried about their data and who is tracking them are joining the dark web to surf. The future. Dark web is just about starting to go mainstream. Many predict it is the future of the internet. More and more websites are looking to open their hidden service to allow anonymous access due to rising concerns of the privacy. E.g., Facebook has opened its Onion hidden service in dark web. We keep on forgetting in the short span time of 40 years or so the internet has changed many times. It started as the military project in the 70s, then venture into academic institutions in the 80s, taken over by the commercial companies in the 90s, and then invaded by us and the social media in the current millennia. And the hunch of the analysts is it will change again. And the anonymous communications technology will have an important role to play in it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.